What's up, sons? It's Blackrock with Savitech once again. Today we're going to be talking about obtaining new PC hardware during this crazy shortage in 2021. You may have to take some extreme measures to go ahead and obtain graphics cards right now, especially. And we're going to talk about what I did over this past week and then what your other options are as well that we are trying to test out and how much success we have had or not had with them. But before we get into it, here's a word from our sponsor. Today's sponsor is BlockFi. BlockFi provides financial products for crypto investors. Products include high yield interest accounts, USD loans, and no fee trading. With BlockFi, there are no hidden fees, just a return of up to 8.6% APY that starts accruing immediately, plus compounding interest every month. Committed to trust and transparency, BlockFi services comply with comprehensive state and federal regulations, and they use Winklevoss's Gemini as their primary custodian, wrapping layers of industry-leading protection around clients' assets. To facilitate this transparency, BlockFi allows me to mention that they are centralized and there is a potential for loss. So as with any investment, do your own research. Personally, I have funded over 4,000 USD equivalent in Bitcoin to my BlockFi account and accrued additional interest on top of my mining rewards. For a limited time, you can earn crypto bonus of up to $250 when you open a new account by visiting the link in the description, blockfi.com slash son of a tech. Welcome back. So on Saturday, I prepped a ton of videos. My plan was to have videos prepped through, of course, Monday, and that worked out well. We didn't expect to stay an entire extra day until Tuesday, so we ended up not having a video yesterday. My apologies there. I think that's the first time we haven't had at least one video per day. Now, the reason we prepped all of those videos is because on Sunday, I had some ink done and then after that we drove to Houston. I took the family with me as sort of a family trip and we stayed in a hotel next to the micro center in Houston, Texas. Uh, my initial understanding was that micro center wasn't allowing people to line up till 6 a.m. So my strategy was going to be lining up at 6 a.m. on Monday morning. And then if we didn't get a card, I was just going to make a video and then line up again on Tuesday morning and rinse and repeat until we got a graphics card. Unfortunately, when we arrived on Sunday night, there was already a line around the corner. And from what I could tell, pretty much any GPUs or getting any GPUs was going to be pretty difficult. Probably not going to happen on at least Monday morning for me, but we did go ahead and wake up or I woke up and got in line on Monday morning. Yes, I didn't get a card on Monday morning, but I got kind of an idea of what was going on. And my understanding was that in Houston, at least the line starts at 10 a.m. the day before people are lined up for the next shipment. So we got some chairs and we got in line at for us around noon to 1 p.m somewhere in there on monday morning or monday afternoon at this point i went and ate some breakfast and that got me in line in the fourth spot the first person that got in line was there around 10 a.m and then people obviously filled in behind me by the time it was around 11 o'clock at night it's safe to say that all the slots were already filled up for the next day. So if you're looking at at least the Houston Micro Center, it looks like you're gonna to need to get in line before 11 p.m. at the very least, and then you still take the chance of them not getting a shipment in for the next day. So <laughs> it's pretty stressful because you know that you're going to be sitting there for an extended period of time, up to 24 hours, and may not even get the chance to buy any graphics cards. And if you're further back in the line, you're gonna have a limited selection on the GPUs you can purchase. Now for me in particular, I was purchasing a GPU that a lot of people weren't looking for, so that was good. However, for the Radeon GPUs, there is also a shorter supply of them than on the Nvidia side. So for example, when I was there, on Tuesday, there was only one 6700 XT, and it was the most expensive model, which is the MSI, and then one 6800 XT, which was once again the most expensive model, which was the MSI. Now, if you guys haven't been paying attention to retail prices, 
which I wouldn't blame you, it's near impossible to understand where the retail pricing is at right now. The MSI versions at this moment are extremely overpriced, nearly double what retail is and of any other mo version of that GPU, right? So if the 6700 XT runs around $500 to $550, the MSI version of that GPU is running around $814, which I ended up paying for because I just wanted to get a GPU for testing. I would highly recommend not getting the RX 6700 XT that I purchased from MSI because I don't think that that's going to pay off very well. But we'll have one here to go ahead and get testing for you guys. Now your other options are going to be using Newegg Shuffle, which we have won the Shuffle twice, once for a GPU and once for a CPU. And we just won a Shuffle on Tuesday, which was basically thanks to being in line at Micro Center, people were like, yo, the new egg shuffle is out early today. Um, so huge shout out to Effect, who let me know, Effect Butters, who was waiting in line as well. Super nice to meet you, by the way, dude. And he was like, yeah, it's up. So I signed up for that and we did get a 5950X out of it. We didn't get a GPU though. Your other option is going to be signing up for a bot that will do online purchasing for you. Now, while I am kind of typically against that ethically, if the bots or the scalpers are using bots to purchase all of these items and then scalp them, if I'm purchasing for them for myself or for the channel or for, of course, friends and family, then you gotta do what you gotta do. I'm gonna be going through and seeing if I can locate a bot. I've had some people offer it. Probably gonna take you guys up on that offer and just test it out for the community and see if we can get some GPUs purchased. And then finally, you do have the option of possibly purchasing through that Linus Tech Tips thing if you're trying to get one for gaming. I haven't tested it out. I don't know how it functions fully yet, but I'll be trying to see if I can get my hands in there. Obviously though, I'm a miner, so I feel like I might not be able to do it. Maybe we can do it through a friend or something along those lines, but no, I haven't tested that at this time. So it's really difficult to get GPUs right now. If you want to get GPUs, you're really gonna wanna get to a micro center and then there's stipulations at micro center. So to purchase a GPU from micro center at this time, you essentially get a voucher and then they tie your ID to that voucher and you cannot purchase a GPU again for another 30 days. Obviously they're doing this to make sure everybody gets a GPU, but if you were gonna try to, like in my case, I am still missing a 6800 XT for testing, which I don't need really because the 6800 is close enough, but I did wanna have one just so that we have one of each in case something crazy comes up and the 6800 XT starts taking off for some reason in mining or whatever. It's good to have one of every card, but I couldn't purchase the 6800 XT because, well, I can only get one and you can get it once every 30 days. And that goes into a database for all of the micro centers to my knowledge. So it's not like I can go to the Houston micro center one night, camp 24 hours, fly to Dallas, stay at the Dallas micro center for 24 hours and fly around trying to pick them up. That's not just not, it's not going to work. So what I have set up is basically I just set up a little uh, calendar event that says, hey, your 30 days are up if you want to go back and try to get one. Because obviously we have the 3080 Ti coming out that I want to try to camp out for, plus whatever other GPUs that are coming along the horizon. Now, if you're trying to purchase graphics cards for mining right now, you also need to take into account the ROI, the time to pay off and current projections. We talked about it in our HUT 8 purchase video and I think that's a very important one to pay attention to. Because their ROI time is around a year I, and because they have most likely a ton of analysts going through the numbers to make sure they don't lose their butt, as a home miner I think you're safe with calculating an ROI of within a year or under a year preferably because we're never going to be able to do enough research to to basically compete with a large company like that and calculate ROI and whatever else 
And so following larger companies that are doing large mining operations like that as a home miner to determine what your ROI should be is probably a decent idea. So you really want to use something like what to mine. You want to calculate what the estimated revenue would be, you know, for to get an idea for that GPU. And then after that, you want to just calculate that into the price by taking the current price of the GPU you're looking at purchasing and dividing it by the amount it makes daily and then making sure that it's under the 365 days. Now for HUT 8, it looks like it was under about 225 days on the day that the purchase was announced. Of course, you push that a little bit further out, plus power costs, plus rent, plus whatever other, of whatever other overhead they currently have and you're looking at about a year so that's kind of giving you guys an idea on what you're looking at for purchasing when mining and making sure you don't overspend from what i noticed at micro center everything is up marked 3090s are around 2200 dollars um 3080s really vary like a lot but essentially what you're looking at is around two to $400 over what the initial launch cost was. In the case of the Radeon cards, they vary a ton between $100 over retail to $900 over retail on, on the worst case on the 6800 XT. And that's coming from Micro Center. That's not even coming from scalpers. So funny enough, if you were looking at purchasing GPUs back when the scalping first started, you could have probably gotten better deals from the initial scalpers than you can even from retail at this point. I hope this video gives you guys a little bit of an idea on what you're going to need to do. It's tough. Also, safety is a big deal. If you're out there in line, just try to make sure that you stay safe. Um, Definitely, it's sketchy to stay out in those big cities, especially in the areas where typically micro centers are. You are also waiting in line to purchase something large. I wouldn't recommend carrying too much or even having like your wallet on you. In fact, one of my, what I would say to do is lock your wallet in your car, in your hotel room, whatever that is and get the voucher then go back up and get your wallet to make the payment and come back down you just don't want micro center to start getting targeted with muggings and so on it, it it's crazy out there so just be safe thanks for watching i'd like to hear from you guys in the comments and i'll see you next tuesday if you enjoyed this content you can check out more crypto content on this playlist up here or of course go ahead and subscribe for more in the future adios